Jumping in my getaway Wanna live to see another day Run fast and run far I think there's a better way Spin me into disarray Heal all of my scars What's up, man? You good? What, Grace? Grace mad at you again? Oh, I'm not talking to Grace. Just a friend. He's <laughs> just a friend? What is it, that girl from the summer or something? I told you. Nothing happens. Maker. Fresh off the truck. Wow, it's definitely an upgrade. Precision Grind 8000, finally a drinkable cup of coffee. Great, now we can learn all the Brooklyn coffee snobs to add away. Mm, to do that, we need a mastery milk frother, a cold brew tap, and a proprietary bean blend. And this machine doesn't do any of that? No, but for what I paid for it, this thing should be making the coffee, serving the coffee, doing the dishes, and then taking out the trash. Looking at these directions, I'm going to need a Ph.D. to put it together. I better clear all my morning. You can't. You have a doctor's appointment. I put it on your calendar. You should go do that. Your leg, it's been bad lately. You know, maybe we should talk a little bit about boundaries, too. Well, I can do it. What? I'm good at this kind of stuff. Fine. Just remember, this machine is worth more than both of your lives combined. How are you going to be? You feeling any better? No. I think I have the flu. Or a migraine. Maybe allergies. You're a terrible liar, honey. But it's okay. Everyone deserves a day off every once in a while. This came for you. I hope you didn't buy anything frivolous like those Gatsby characters. I didn't buy anything. Eleanor, you caught me the other dress? Mm, wasn't me. I'm sorry about the other night. Hope this makes you feel better, XO. It's from Connor. I have to text Vic. Naturally, but Grace, he shouldn't try to buy your love. It's just a sweet gesture. I have to go to school to thank Connor. I mean, I think I'm feeling better after all. Just don't fall for any of his funny business. Don't be like Daisy. Buchanan? From Gatsby. What does she have to do with anything? Oh, never mind. Keep reading. A little help. You're the hero who volunteered. I'm sure Junior would love to know his new manager's been on her phone all week. Let's hurry this up. I have class. Okay. Ready? One, two. Oh my gosh, yeah. what is in this thing? Wait! No, 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 wait! Oh, good, you're both here! I've literally found the love of my life. His name is Ivan, but he also happens to be a total stranger slash recently disabled car accident victim. How do I slide into his DMs without being weird? Okay, who died? A Precision Grind 8000. Oh, jeez, Alou, this can't be good. Nick broke it. He broke it together. You're the one who volunteered, I didn't. I, I'm on the line here. Hey, Just... hey, hey, relax, okay? I'll go gather reinforcements and buy you time. What kind of reinforcements? I don't know, but uh, I think my parents have an old coffee maker in the garage. I'll be right back. I am so dead. I can't believe how sweet you are. Do you like it? I loved it. Thank you. Well, it was no big deal. Yeah, it was a huge deal. 
How did you even know where I got the dress? I saw the shopping bag at your house. Sneaky. You should have saw the look on Eleanor's face when I opened it. She will never forgive you. Yeah, well, luckily I'm not dating her. Yeah, that would be weird. But lucky me. So what do you think? Um, it's actually pretty good. I can't believe Daisy and Gatsby get into a car accident. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if Gatsby hadn't taken the blame, then maybe he wouldn't have hey! died. No spoilers. Sorry, I thought you finished it. I never should have doubted us. I just, the more I talked to Vic, the more I started to spiral into paranoia <laughs> and- Of course, Vic's been in your ear. You know, she's been against me ever since we started dating. She's sad and alone and doesn't want you to be happy either. It's not like that. We were just talking. It's no big deal. Can we just forget it? Come here. You're gonna be late. Oh my god, you're right. How's it going, Nick? Junior's gonna be back any second. I think I got it figured out. Really? That's great! Do you know anyone who can weld? What? No, I don't. Then we might want to give Junior a heads up. I think I'm gonna lose it. Perfect, great. Get it over with. What kind of advice is that? I don't know, you seem pretty tightly wound. Seems like you could release some pressure. I'm the manager, Nick. I can't lose it. I really need this job. It's not some quirky hobby for me. Okay. I get it, breathe. What do you know about pressure anyway? I know you assume I've had it pretty easy, but I've been to some pretty dark places and I don't want to go back, but it was necessary at the time. Well, I can't, especially now. Okay, I get it. All I'm saying is it can be liberating to stop pretending. You know, a caterpillar has to dissolve into like a sack of goo and molecules before it can transform. Sometimes you have to let yourself fall apart and trust that you can put yourself back together. I got this to remind me of that. Junior's not gonna fire you because the coffee machine. I'll tell him it's my fault, okay? Thank you. But it's still your fault. He looks pretty cute, but you haven't even met this guy? Technically, no, but that doesn't mean I don't know Ivan. I'm subscribed to his GoFundMe. Look. Wow. He's already raised $3,000 to help with his medical bills? I should start one of these. Max, you're a genius. I should make a donation to get his attention. That's not remotely what I even said. Do you think $15 will do it? Out of $3,000? Probably not. Well, I was saving up for a new pair of Converse, but you can't put a price on true love. <laughs> I'd cap it at 50 bucks. Oh, I love that store. Did you get anything good? Oh, yeah, my boyfriend got me a dress, but it's the wrong size. Need to do a return. Wow, your boyfriend has incredible taste. Oh, I picked it out. That makes sense. You have great style. I'm Hillary, by the way. Grace, are you a Pisces by any chance? Wow, yeah. How did you know? You have Pisces energy. See ya. Hey, Grace. What is he doing there? And what is going on with this? We're having a little bit of a situation with the new coffee machine, but if anybody asks, everything is fine. Well, where's Vic? She's in the back. Oh, and let me warn you, she's having a bit of a day. <laughs> yeah, well, who isn't? Can you give us a minute? Yeah. Go. We need to talk. You have to stop putting ideas in Grace's head. What are you talking about? She's been acting all paranoid because she talked to you. Because of me, I've done nothing but try and help her. Oh, yeah, right. I, I know you've never liked me. You've always wanted to break us up. Newsflash, buddy. Grace can think for herself, and I really can't deal with this right now. Just butt out of my relationship. Fine, I'm tired I'm trying to fix everything for everyone anyway. Yeah, because you're clearly doing such a bang-up job. Just look around. What is going on here? 
I'm so sorry. I just overdid it on the caffeine. The new machine makes the best cup of coffee you've ever had. That is a good cup of coffee. Machine give you any trouble putting it together? No. Easy breezy. What's everybody standing around for? Let's get back to work. <sighs> what a shift. Seriously, it's just a roller coaster of emotions. I think we deserve a little reward, don't you? <laughs> yeah, like some more hot chocolate? <laughs> Where did you get that? I found it in Junior's cabinet when I was looking for tools. It's like a decade old. <laughs> but Vic would Vic gave me the keys to lock up. She'll never know. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, yep. This one's for the rule breakers. To the long lost citizen of Adway. Cheers to Joe Chambers. I don't know who that is, but cheers to Joe Chambers. <laughs> Next time on Juniors. He's doing his best. His best sucks. He had a heart attack. There's no blockage or permanent damage to the heart, though. I was just in the neighborhood, figured I'd swing by. Check on my favorite younger brother. She doesn't need handouts, and she's not interested in you.